folks, I'm Mr. Broderick, I'm here at H205, and I want to talk to you guys about one of the most exciting, dynamic courses in all of U.S. Grant High School. It is statistics. I teach AP statistics, and I'm also offering a regular non-AP version next year, so it's a little bit of something for everybody. So what do we do in statistics? Well, first and foremost, we get to analyze data, right? Uh, you'll see some political data up here, we talk about politics a lot, uh, we got some sports, uh, any sport you like we can talk about. We can talk about science, we can talk about business, we can talk about psychology, we can talk about anything you're interested in. Uh, statistics applies to really any field you could possibly go into um, in the future. So everyone will benefit from this class. In addition to analyzing data, we get to collect data. You learn about how to take a good sample, how to run a good experiment. In fact, these pictures right here are from a real life project some of my AP statistics kids did in the past. And so you really get a great hands-on experience where you actually get to work with data and really do some really fun activities with it. You also get to learn about probability. And with probability, you get to learn about the math behind games like poker and roulette and craps. And you get to learn kind of the behind the scenes of how casinos, like in Las Vegas or in Oklahoma, make all the money that they do. So what do you need to join statistics? Well, you need a couple things. First, you have to pass Algebra 2. That's for sure. Next, you have to be able to have good attendance and have a good work ethic. You have to be willing to work hard in my class. That's for sure. You have to be able to read and write. Statistics isn't just about doing calculations. It's about explaining what you found and analyzing a situation. So you have to have good reading and writing skills to succeed in statistics. You also have to be willing to learn new things. Statistics is a whole new way of thinking. And you have to be open-minded if you're going to be successful in statistics. So I'll just show you guys a real quick comparison of the difference between my AP Statistics course and my regular Statistics course. AP Statistics is more challenging, but you can get college credit from it if you pass the AP exam. So if you're planning on going to college, AP Statistics is a great pick. Uh, regular Statistics is going to be a great course too, though. Uh, not as challenging, not as rigorous, but you still get to do a lot of the fun activities that we get to do in my AP Statistics course. And you also get some great SAT and ACT prep too. So, if you have questions, if you want to learn more, I'm right here in H205, upstairs H Hall. Uh, here's my email address if you want to contact me. If you want to come talk to me, I'm available time block 5, 6, and 7, as well as after school. But in the meantime, let me show you guys some testimonials from, from my current STAT students so they can tell you what they think about statistics. Um, AP Stats is a really fun class, and you really get to learn some real life things. And Like stats really helps you understand things more, like in the basis of like data and stuff, and it, it comes up a lot, I would think, in the future. AP stats is fun. It's interesting. I like the class. It's, it's a little complicated, but it's fun. It's worth it. Yeah. Uh, so like when you finally get to understand uh, stats, like it's not that hard, and you look back at it, and you're like, okay. And then there's also like memes that come with it, and you like finally get to understand those. <laughs> Mr. Project is like really patient and he'll really like understand whether or not you're like whether you're struggling because he's been through the same thing and he really like understands what things you wouldn't understand and how to like help you understand it better. He's really fun and Delicious. he's a really good teacher. What does a mushroom mean? He's a fun guy. Oh, he's a fun guy, yeah. <laughs> no, he's actually a really good teacher and he's always trying to help you like uh, to better understand things and he'll like take time out of his day to help you. Yeah, Mr. Project's really cool and he really cares about his students and he'll bend over backwards to help everybody out. With these things that you learn, they won't be just one of those things where you think, oh, I'm never going to have to use again. Later on, you're going to use it and you're going to be like, oh yeah, I finally understand that. And if you want a challenge, I really recommend this class. It's a lot of work, but what AP class isn't a lot of work? It's like, you never think you'd actually be thinking over the concept of like math. Like, you begin to really question how valid or um, subjects are, like whether or not something can, like something is correlated or not, and you really think of the like the really like whether the news is really telling you the truth and stuff. But with those problems, it's too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>